watching NBC4, connected to you. Live from the area's leading news station, this is News 4 at 11. Imagine being on the edge of death, then finding your way back and accomplishing a physical feat that most of us wouldn't dream of. News for your health tonight, the story of Brian Boyle's triumph, a local young man who beat all the odds. 19-year-old Brian Boyle had just graduated from high school. He was a Maryland State champion swimmer, an amateur bodybuilder, an all-around athlete, and his dream was to swim on the college team. But one fateful afternoon, everything changed. I was crossed on a local intersection, and I was hit on my driver's side door by a dump truck. The impact of the crash knocked my heart across my chest, uh, collapsed my lungs, broke pretty much all my ribs, uh, shattered my pelvis, broke my clavicle, and put me in a coma for two months. Boyle underwent emergency surgery to repair his heart, lungs, spleen, and bones. His coma was medically induced because doctors said he would have died from the sheer pain of his injuries. During his surgeries, his heart stopped beating eight different times. His team of doctors at Prince George's Hospital Center were able to revive him, but they knew his prognosis wasn't good. Dr. James Katavinas broke the news to his parents. We told him that he was extremely critical, that uh, he was hanging by a thread, that he could pass away at, every, at any time. My doctors told my parents, you know, that it was just a miracle that if I would just regain consciousness or even live or, you know, survive on my own because all the injuries and everything I sustained, it was, just, it was just too much. Two months later, Brian Boyle woke up. Doctors said he would never walk again, let alone swim. But this is Boyle today, three years later. Not only is he able to exercise and walk, he's running. And not only is he running, he's completed one of the toughest athletic challenges in the world, the Ironman Triathlon, a punishing 12-hour-plus competition, starting with a 2.4-mile swim, then a 112-mile bike ride, and then a marathon 26.2-mile run. Welcome, Brian, to the finish line. And I didn't just run across the finish line. I got to the finish line, slowed down, and I walked across because the doctor said I'd never walk again. So I wanted to have that be the icing on the cake. If, if somebody told me that I was going to be in the Ironman when I was on my deathbed, I would laugh down. It's, it's another miracle all in itself. He took uh, that incredible will to, to live and uh, turned it into something uh, truly uh, miraculous. Go down slowly. Brian Boyle's now a personal trainer in Waldorf, Maryland. He's on the St. Mary's College swim team, and he's using his own medical miracle to raise the hopes of others. I believe that was the reason why I was saved, is to, is to help people and inspire people. I'm just trying to achieve my dreams, help people along the way, and hopefully have an impact along my journey back to life. Hmm. Brian Boyle's time in the Ironman Triathlon, 14 hours and 42 minutes. Hmm. To take a look at some more of Brian's pictures and learn more about his Ironman finish, go to NBC4.com and click on health. You know, it almost doesn't matter what his time <laughs> was. Right. The just, fact that he was doing it, that is incredible. Just to be able to endure it. That's a stud. He's, he's inspiring. And yeah. he, imagine having him for a trainer, though. Oh, you know? my goodness. My goodness. Say, oh, this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. right. Forget tell me about what's hard. Let me tell you okay. the story. <laughs> That's incredible. Exactly. Muscles, and, but spirit more than muscles. Absolutely. My, I want to tell